Uh, hi, my name is Fariha Salmadia. I'm a Hong Kong-born Bangladeshi, and I'm currently studying English at the City University of Hong Kong. Amazing. Cool. Could you tell us about something or someone who has influenced you? That would definitely be my family, especially my parents. They have always believed in my ability to shine. They taught me that there's never just one path to success, and it's okay to fail sometimes, and that's completely okay, and that gave me the confidence to carry on. And I would say that they are my backbone. They gave me happiness and encouragement, tenacity, patience, and compassion. I encompassed these traits early on, and it helped me navigate the world better. It helped me learn things in a different perspective. And I thank them for giving me constructive criticism and teaching me from right and wrong. And I also thank them for their unconditional love because I know that's one thing that I can hold on to that will never fade away and that I can always count on them for that. And I thank them for being my best friends. Great. Okay, what makes you the most happiest in Hong Kong? What are your greatest opportunities and what are your greatest barriers? I would say that my sense of belonging to the Hong Kong community is what makes me the happiest in Hong Kong because a sense of belonging is a human need and we're always longing to belong and being able to hang out, have meals, go karaoke, partying, travel, go hiking with local people, with people in Hong Kong are very rewarding experiences. As of my greatest opportunities, it would be that I was able to make it to the youth to watch list and that is because it's not about being given the power or the authority. It's about being given a voice when many are silenced by their problems in the world. And other remarkable opportunities would include being able to run as the student welfare secretary for the English Society at my university, being part of the Project Ethnic Minority Empowerment, um, being the general secretary of Voices of Diversity, which is a Hong Kong ethnic minority advocacy group, and last but not the least, being able to intern for a political party in Hong Kong. And as of my greatest barriers, I would say that at some point in my life, there were people who did not believe in my ability to succeed. And it really did put me down for a while. But other than that, I would say that I was fortunate enough to be blessed beyond measure. And I know that whatever obstacles that pop up in the future, I will be able to overcome them. And they say that your best teacher is your last mistake. And so I really take my lesson from that. And other than that, I would say that obstacles make us who we are. They help us grow, they help us understand ourselves, and they make us better and resilient versions of ourselves. And one thing that I will leave you with is that you will one day leave footprints in the places other people thought you couldn't make it to. And if there's one advice that I would give to youth out there, I would say that do not trash the gifts of youth. Act on opportunity, and every moment is a learning opportunity. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, and uh, finally, what do you want to be? Um, truth to be told, I don't really know what I'm going to be. I don't know where I'm headed, what I want to be. Because when I was younger, when people ask you, um, what do you want to be? actually want to be many things. I wanted to be a swimmer, I wanted to be a dancer, I wanted to be a lawyer, a legislative counselor, but then I don't quite have my life figured out. I haven't found my calling, I haven't found my passion, but right now what I would like to focus on is my education, to articulate to a bachelor's degree and to work on my language skills. Amazing. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You.